In this tutorial, I'll be showing how to use Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud 2014 to create a clipping mask by using an existing image or photo to fill in the letters of text. Uh, and I've got an example here of one that I've already made. So I use this uh, stone wall texture or stone wall image a photo that I took and I use that image to fill in the letters of these words. I'm going to do that again, but this time I'll be using an image of sand from the desert, which I took, and I'll be using that image to fill in the letters of the word desert. So I've got Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud uh, 2014 open here, and to start with, I'm going to just drag the image. into Photoshop and I'll just drag it straight onto the layers panel. Okay, and there we go. Now, the next thing to do is to make sure that this layer is not locked. So click on the padlock to get rid of that. So it's no longer locked. And we can give this layer a name. We'll just call it sand. Okay, so we've got our sandy desert uh, background image in Photoshop and now we can start creating the text. So if we click on the text tool or the type tool and then we click onto our image it will automatically create a new layer over here for the text and we can start typing. Okay now I'm gonna have to make this a bit smaller so up the top here I can just click and drag Oops, hold on. Highlight the text first and then click and drag to make that text smaller. Okay. And grab the selection tool at the top here, or the move tool, and we can just drag that around to where we want it. Okay, so now we've got the text and we've got the sandy desert background. Next thing to do is on the uh, layers panel over on the right hand side here, we've got one layer which is for the text called desert, and then we've got one layer here which is for the image called sand. We need to drag that, the sand layer, up to the top so that that is above the text layer. Then we can just right click on that image, on that layer, Oops. right click on that, and click on create clipping mask. There we go, and it uses that image to fill in the letters of that word. And if you, while you're on that layer, the image, you can just click it and drag it around so that that picture actually moves to a different position, to wherever you like it. So I like the look of that. That looks good. Okay, so now we can go ahead and save that file and save as. We can export it as a JPEG image, click on save, um, give it a different name, click on save, we'll keep the quality pretty high, click on OK, and now if we go to that folder, we can now open that file. And that looks pretty good. So we've used an image as uh, for a clipping mask to fill in the letters of text using Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud 2014.